So guys, in this problem, we've been given a container in which we have an incompressible liquid and an air column. And on top of that, we have a weightless piston, which can be used to compress or expand the air column. So, and inside it, we also have a piss, have a tube um, whose radius is pretty small. It is 0 0.1 millimeter. So it's a capillary tube. Now, now the air is undergoing a compression process, which is isothermal. Right, so its volume is going to decrease and the pressure is going to increase inside the air column. So we can say P1, V1 equals P2, V2 as the process is isothermal. And solving these, right, initially the pressure is P0 and the volume is V0 and final volume of the air column is given. So we can solve for the final pressure and we get it to be this. So everywhere on the air column, now the pressure is p dash now if we draw the fbd of the water column it will look something like this so this point is the i'll show you in the other diagram so this point is basically the interface of the air and water column and that is this point that i've drawn here and the pressure at this point is p dash as we just calculated above let's assume so this would be the meniscus uh, of the fluid and we can assume the pressure just beneath the meniscus to be P1 and the pressure just above to be P0 because it's air above, right? Now it's given that the contact angle, the contact angle for the fluid is zero. Now what that means is this meniscus would be shaped spherically or hemispherically, I should say, right? Because the contact angle is basically the angle that the the so if you draw a tangent at this point what that tangent makes with the wall that is the contact angle so if it would be zero what that means is the meniscus would be shaped hemispherically now what it also means the radius of curvature of the meniscus would be same as the radius of this tube so once that is done we can write the difference in pressures p dash is p1 p dash minus p1 it would be h rho g because that pressure difference arises due to the change in i mean uh, due to the weight of the fluid right so and that we can write as p dash minus p1 as h rho g now we can write the excess pressure uh, which is 2t by r as p naught minus p1 as the meniscus if shaped like this the pressure above is greater than the pressure below right so we can write P0 minus P1 as the excess pressure 2T by R. Now, once we have these two equations, we can eliminate P1 uh, as that's the unknown. We know everything else. So we can substitute to finally get the answer as 25 centimeter. So that's it.